Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Jess. As you can tell, I've got a giant box of goodies here. I did a little bit of an Ulta haul. Um, yeah, let me know if you also have a problem with makeup and you just need to buy all of it because I just need it all in my life. I can't, I need it all. I see something pretty and I'm like, ooh, that needs to come home with me. Um, so also had their 21 days of beauty, um, sale, that giant sale. So I got some of my favorite goodies with that. And then because Ulta is Ulta and they just love me to spend my money there. Um, they sent me in my email a 20% off coupon, like a week after the 21 days of beauty sale is over. So I've got a bunch of goodies in here because they just they reel me in like why do you do that you do the 21 days of beauty and then you give me a coupon on top of it for 20 percent off even prestige brands like who do you think you are alta like just making me spend all my money like not nice but uh i figured i'd share with you some of my goodies i have some of it on my face i will be doing some first impressions with some of these as well so let's just go ahead and dive into my box of goodies. So let's start off with some skincare. I got some skincare pieces. I repurchased my Mirad Anti-Aging Acne Time Release and Time Release Acne Cleanser. I love this cleanser. I've been using it probably two years now. I use it morning and night. Um, I have super sensitive acne prone skin that does tend to get really dry if I use a lot of really um, acne attacking um, ingredients. So I do love this. It does not dry me out. I can use it morning and night, like I said. And for the most part, it generally helps keep my acne at bay. I mean, if I use something that it doesn't agree with, obviously it's not going to be a miracle worker. But I love it. I feel like it takes off at the end of the night any last bit of makeup that my um, face wipes do not get. That is something I forgot to repurchase. <laughs> but uh, I can buy those at the drugstore. So. Um, but anything that my makeup wipes or my cleansing bulbs do not get, I feel like this takes it off. And so good. If you have acne prone skin, give this a try. I mean, it does have... 0.5% uh, salicylic acid in it. So if you're sensitive to salicylic acid, you might want to stay away from this. My skin, however, loves salicylic acid and just really helps it. So anything with salicylic acid in it, I like to give it a try. And this is gentle enough to where it doesn't over dry my super sensitive skin. So had to repurchase this when it was, uh, I think it was like 50% off. So super exciting. Had to repurchase that even though I've got a full one in my bathroom right now that I just started, but I go through it. I use it morning and night, so it will be used. Up next, I've heard um, Emily Fox rave about COSRX and in particular this Advanced Snail 96 Mucin Power Essence. So I finally broke down and bought it when I had that 20% off. Cause I'm like, why not? If it breaks, breaks me out, like, you know, everything else does. Alta's got a great return policy or, you know, it'll probably just sit in my bathroom like everything else that I forget to return. <laughs> um, so I bought this, it does have a little uh, pump and she is not kidding. Look at this texture on this. It is like the stickiest, like, do you see those little like strings? <laughs> like snail mucin. <laughs> um, oh my goodness, such an odd texture, but I've been using it for like the past week and a half to test it out because I, I just couldn't wait. I saw it and I was like, oh my goodness, um, it doesn't break me out. Like, Hallelujah, something that does not break me out. And it gives that added moisture that with my skincare routine, I've just been missing. Like the older I'm getting, my skin just gets drier and drier and drier. And this just is that extra added moisture. And I feel like it helps heal um, like my acne spots faster. Just the healing properties in this. 
so far so good and it's an added moisture that my skin just loves um so i've really been enjoying this i i don't know as far as long term what it does any benefits um as i said i've only been using it like a week and a half but so far it's a great added moisture piece to my skincare routine also from Cosrx, i bought the AHA BHA Clarifying Treatment Toner. This is in a uh, spray. I, I don't think I want to spray, you know, AHAs and BHAs all over my face. So what I did last night, I just sprayed it on my little um, cotton round and then I wiped it over my face. So far, it didn't break me out uh, in one night. AHAs and BHAs, my skin is so terribly sensitive to. It either dries me out and burns my skin and makes it super red, or like the next morning I'll wake up with like little tiny bumps and pimples or like really bad cystic acne. I did not wake up with that today, so uh, not on wood. Uh, so far, so good. I did wake up with really smooth feeling skin. Um, and this is oil free, and I think that has a lot to do with it. I love. Um, I've used the Drunk Elephant TLC from Boost Glycolic and man, do I break out with that. Unfortunately, it really makes your skin like feel really smooth and stuff, but then I massively break out with that. So I'm hoping I've been trying to find something. I've only found a Tata Harper face mask so far that does that, but I can only use that like once a week because it's a face mask and really expensive. So Fingers crossed that this is a good one and continues to uh, work for my skin. We'll update uh, in a future video, but so far so good on the uh, Casa Rex. Like I need to check out more from this line. Also from the skincare point of view, I purchased the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair for Face Moisturizer. I have been loving their Ultra Repair uh, hydrating serum. I forget exactly what it's called. Their hydrating serum. It's oil free. My face loves that. Um, so I figured I would give this a try. Um, I just picked it up. I have not tried this one yet. There is oils in it though. So we shall see what that does to my face. I'm scared to use it. Um, I wanted to give the Cosrx things a go before I started to use something else. Um, as I said, you know, I can't incorporate too many things at once because if I break out, I won't know what's causing it. Or if something's really working, I won't know what's really working. Um, so I will eventually be using this, hopefully maybe next week sometime, um, after I give the other two products a little bit more time to get used to my skin and make sure that my skin agrees with them and doesn't cause a massive like mm -hmm, loveliness. Um, so I will update you later on, but I do love the First Aid Beauty uh, Hydrating Serum. So I figured I would give this a try because it is the moisturizer to that. So we'll update later. All right, so now I'm getting into the makeup. I did repurchase my Maybelline uh, Instant Age Rewind in the shade Fair. I was like, completely out of this so I needed to repurchase this I love this just for no makeup days put a little bit under my eyes on my chin where there's a lot of redness and around my nose and pat it in with my figures call it a day it's great for that um so I did repurchase this especially for the summer I love just doing that quick little stuff before I go out on the boat or to the sandbar or something had to repurchase this also, I repurchased the Wet n Wild, or not repurchased, I purchased the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Hello Halo Liquid Highlighter in the shade Halo Goodbye. Oh my goodness. This is the highlighter I am wearing today. <laughs> Love this i heard jessica braun talking about it in one of her videos jam booty jam beauty 89 on here i'm sure you guys know who she is she's amazing if you don't go follow her um but she was talking about this in one of her videos and boy is she right now i do not like this if i have already set my face with powders it doesn't go over powders like the nicest um 
So I have it on today over to cream products, which I'm going to talk about and I did not set anything on my face today, um, but blended in with a beauty sponge. I just, it has a little um, felt tip applicator. I just put it on the back of my hand. Here, I'll show you guys. Put it on the back of my hand and oh, I don't know if you can see it that well. Got to have these bright lights on because it's a rainy day out, but blend it in and it's just so beautiful. It is a little bit more, you know, pinky as you can see, but once you blend it in with a beauty sponge, I used my beauty blender today. I just take the, the pointed tip of it, dip it on my finger, not on my finger, on my hand after I blend it in on my hand and then I apply it on my face. And it blends in so well. If you are fair toned, I do know there are other colors, but if you are fair like my self, get the Hello Goodbye and it just looks like that beautiful, it doesn't emphasize texture. It just looks like you're naturally glowing from within. I think I'm really going to love this in uh, the spring and summer months um, because I've only used it like three times and I'm already loving it. <laughs> So speaking of the huh, cream stuff that I put that highlighter on top of, I finally bought the Nude Sticks Bondi Bay Bronzer. Oh my goodness, you guys. Why didn't I buy this sooner? Oops. On one end, it does have that little brush. I tried to blend it out with a brush and it just, no, mm -mm. everyone's right. Don't use it. But this color is so good. I mean, I used it today. It's a very neutral toned uh, bronzer. It's definitely, it's not cool tone, but it doesn't look orange, which is so important when you are super fair. I'll do a little swatcheroo on my hand. So as you can see, it's a very neutral color. It looks very intense on the skin, but if you blend it out with a beauty sponge, I use the butt of my beauty blender. I also like to just use my foundation brush, which is what I did today. I just uh, stippled, don't blend, just stipple. I used my It's For Ulta, the LBD foundation number 302, and I just pounced my brush and stippled it in and it blends out beautifully like that as well. I am loving this. Then something that was not Ulta, this is the only thing in the <laughs> in this video that's not from Ulta, but I had to include it because I just got it in the mail today and I was so excited and I had to put it on all over my face. The Nude Sticks, they're brand new. I can't get it. I don't like those little papers that they put inside. The Nude Sticks, Nudies Bloom All Over Face Dewy Color in the shade Sweet Peach Peony. I was a little nervous when I saw it online. I thought it might be a little too orangey, um, but it was the most neutral color of the like four or five colors that they have online. You guys, such a great, great color. Oh my goodness. It is kind of uh, that sheer dewy, just perfect pinky peachy nude that I just go to. Like that is my go-to blush color and I love it. I blended this out with my beauty blender. I just did a couple dots on my cheeks, blended it out with the butt of my beauty blender and that is what you see. That's half of the glow on my face along with that wet and wild blush. So I have my bronzer, blush, and that highlight. And that combo, I uh, think I found my new go-to combo for this summer. Loving it. Also did a repurchase. I had to break this out today because I was completely out of my other one. Well, not out of it. It was completely dried up because I use it so much. Um, my CoverGirl Clump Crusher Mascara, the water resistant um, in the shade Very Black. I, You guys, I can't get enough of this. This is the mascara I'm wearing today. It just, it lifts, it separates and defines your lashes so well. It's that rubber bristle type of brush and it's slightly curved. So it just really hugs your lashes so nicely. This is the only mascara I am wearing today on my top and bottom lashes. It doesn't budge. It doesn't flake. 
Um, I, I have such a problem with mascaras flaking on me or looking really clumpy and spidery. This is everything I look for in a mascara and I have used it for, gosh, probably like over 10 years now. I, I will never be without it. I've to this day have not found one that is better and it's drugstore so it's affordable. I can buy it, you know, at my local drugstore or at the grocery store when I'm buying my groceries. You guys just try it. It's so good. Also did a restock on my Anastasia Brow Wiz when they were 50% off during the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty. Guys, I love it. Brow Wiz in taupe. Their little spoolie on the end is amazing and their point is just so fine and tiny. I love it. If you are fair skinned, try the taupe. Honestly, I have very naturally very dark um, brown hair, but I do find that taupe works so well just because I am so fair that the even the starkness of the taupe contrasts so well and makes it look a lot darker than it really is. So it matches my hair color, even though, you know, my hair is not this light and taupey, but I, I, my skin is so light that when I wear a, any kind of color on my face, it looks a lot darker than it really is. So trust me on that one. Love it. I bought two. I probably should have bought more because it won't last me until the next sale, but, uh, what are you going to do? Also picked up the Smith & Colt Veiled Thread Weightless Micro Blurring Foundation. You guys, I'm really excited about this one. I picked it up in the shade 120 Cool. We'll have to see, maybe even slightly too light for me. This wasn't even the lightest shade. I think this was like the third. Oh, and it has a pump. Let's do a little, ew, maybe not. <laughs> Maybe we'll sit here for another hour. Do I have a deceptive pump? Oh my goodness, you guys, this is, <gasps> ooh, okay, there we go. Hmm, ooh, very liquidy. Ooh, the color might be good, might. Definitely cool tones, definitely more pinky. Uh, we'll have to do a, I'll do definitely do a review and wear test for you guys. I, I don't know, the reviews online, it's supposed to be, you know, very natural looking, skin-like, but still cover and look great. So the shade might be, might be good, might be just a tinge too light for me. We shall see. Um, but very excited to try that one. Cannot wait. <laughs> Just kidding. Bought a third brow wiz. <laughs> Can never have enough brow wizzes. Never run out of those. Oh, here's the serum I was talking about. I forgot to repurchase this. They had it 50% off during the 21 Days of Beauty. This is the Ultra Repair Hydrating Serum from First Aid Beauty. You guys, it's so good. If you have not tried this and you have very sensitive acne prone skin. This does not break me out. And it just is that added hydration that I need so badly under moisturizer. I feel like it really helps calm my redness down. Um, it just gives your skin that boost of hydration. Hydration. I can't talk. Um, so if you are looking for something that adds a little bit more hydration to like your moisturizer and everything breaks you out, Give this a try. It does not break me out. I've been using it for about the past two months now. Um, and I forgot I did pick up a second bottle of this. So I'm very happy because I have a feeling my uh, other bottle is almost gone because I use it every night and sometimes in the morning as well. Um, but I do love this layered under moisturizer. It does layer well under um, makeup in the morning as well with your moisturizer on top. If you need a little extra boost, if you're feeling a little dry after the night, um, really great, does not break me out, and just is that extra hydration that I so desperately need. Also picked up the L'Oreal Blend Artist Infallible, uh, their foundation blender sponge. Very excited to try this. Um, I hear a lot about it online, and you know, I'm a beauty blender girl through and through. Um, so I'm really excited to try this one. Hopefully I love it just as much, or, uh, Hopefully I love it more, let's be honest, um, because like a fraction of the cost because it is L'Oreal and you know, you can find it at the drugstore. So 
I will let you know my thoughts on this in a later video. Also broke down and bought the Benefit Gimme Brow. This was 50% off. I love this, but it's so expensive. So I usually just buy my Essence Make Me Brow. Um, it does the job, but honestly, this stuff's so good. I'm in the shade, what shade did I get? Yeah, there is no shade anywhere on here. Am I blind? I might be. Anyway, I think I got like the lightest shade, like their their version of taupe, um, because apparently they don't want to tell me the shade. Oh, <laughs> shade one, Jessica, open your eyes. <laughs> I got it in shade one and it's just perfect. Uh, it's what I used on top of my Brow Wiz today. It's a wonderful shade. It does have that added um, color and those tiny little micro fibers to just help fill in your brows. I love it, but you know, it is pricey. So I usually only pick it up when it is on sale, like in the 21 days of beauty. Another exciting purchase. I had this a long, long time ago and then it dried up because it got really old. This is the MAC Pro Longwear Paint Pot in Vintage Selection. I used this in a Get Ready With Me. Such a beautiful, like, nudie, slightly pink uh, sheen. I love putting it under more foiled or shimmer eyeshadows. It just adds that extra pop, which I love. And I just put it on my eyelid. It's also really beautiful. Just put on your eyelid and slightly blend it up into the crease for a no makeup uh, makeup kind of day. Love it, lasts all day, stays put, and you know, eyeshadows blend beautifully on top of it because it is a paint pot. So if you love the uh, painterly and you've not tried this one, vintage selection, it's gorgeous. Another fun purchase, I have tried the ColourPop Flexitarian Super Shock Highlighter and I wasn't the biggest fan, it's just a little too intense for somebody who likes, you know, just more natural glow from within. But I bought this one um, in the shade Smoke and Whistles based on uh, Fatela mentioning it on YouTube here in one of her videos. And she is so right. If you've never tried these, they're like uh, kind of like a creamy powder. Uh, it's such a weird texture. I love it. Um, but as you can see here, it's just that beautiful, here I'll do a little bit more. Such a beautiful like shimmer. There's very little back pigment to it. So I love it for my skin tone because a lot of times those back pigments just, they look like a stripe of highlighter because I'm so fair. They don't blend in with my skin tone. Um, but this color is just oh, so pretty on the skin. I do like to blend it in with a beauty blender. Do not use this over powder products. Make sure you use this before you powder anything or it doesn't blend out the greatest, but very good and very inexpensive. Obviously it's ColourPop. I think these are like five or $8. Another uh, more drugstore affordable purchase was this Flower Beauty lipstick. I got it in the shade 020 Naked Blush. And so, I mean, it looks like a really beautiful nude. Ooh, yeah, can't wait to try that. It's like a little bit of a deeper nude, which is what I love. Have not tried this formula, don't know what I think about it, um, but I've been wanting a more <laughs> drugstore lipstick. Um, and I, so far, uh, really love the color, so I thought I would give it a try. Um, I haven't actually put it on my lips. I don't know how it feels. It looks kind of creamy, um, but kind of like a creamy matte. I don't know. We shall see what I think about it in a future video. Another repurchase. Uh, I heard Samantha Ravendahl talk about this. I have not had it in so long and I forgot how much I loved it. Oh my goodness. This is the Becca Under Eye Brightener Corrector in Light to Medium. Such a great color if you are fair. It gives your skin, it really does cover up those dark circles. I have this underneath just a tiny little two dots of my Shart Tape, Shart Tape Tape. <laughs> okay guys, 
my Tarte Shape Tape and it just adds that extra glow. It covers up those dark spots. It just looks, the formula is so creamy and it really is just that like good peachy salmon color that cancels out all of that darkness under your eyes. And the smell, like I can't put my finger on it, but I, oh, I love the smell. I feel like it's something from my childhood. If you know what this smells like, please let me know. It's not like Play-Doh, but oh, I don't know. It smells like something from my childhood. It doesn't irritate my under eyes, doesn't give me that milia, but it really does. It's just a great added little bonus to cover up just that little inner corner darkness area that I have. And the color is perfect for me. Almost done here, guys. Also, I wanted to try a more affordable <laughs> brow pencil because I have a, obviously, uh, I bought three of them, an obsession with the Brow Wiz by Anastasia. So I bought the LA Girl Shady Slim Brow Pencil in taupe. I'm hoping this will uh, be a nice replacement for my uh, 23, I believe, dollar Brow Wiz. <laughs> um, this was like, $3.99 or something like that. Very affordable at Ulta. Uh, you can buy LA Girl at the drugstore as well. Um, so I will have to do, let me know if you guys would like to see. I think I'll do like a comparison. Do my Brow Wiz and Benefit Brow Setter on one side and this brow uh, pencil with like my Essence Make Me Brow on another and do kind of a comparison wear test. Let me know if you guys would like that. I, I think I like that idea. Well, We'll kind of see how they wear throughout the day. Don't mind my little <laughs> uh, Kleenex in my hand because I keep wiping off everything I keep putting on my hand. So we'll have to see how I like this. Also got the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer in the regular shade bronzer. I bought it in the light shade a while back and it just pulls a little too warm on my skin, but I heard Arna Elaine, you guys, I'm telling you, I'm obsessed with her. I watch all her videos. Don't mind my dog. She's over there barking. Um, but she said she liked this shade better than the light in her bronzer declutter. So I was like, oh my goodness, like, let me pick up that shade because I love the formula and it bend, blends out beautifully, but the light was just a little too warm for me. So I bought this shade. It looks, it looks promising. We'll have to see. How do you open this? Oh my goodness, it's not opening today. There we go. Uh, it looks promising. Ooh, so we will have to see. Let me dig my hand in there. Hmm. That smell, you guys, just smells like summer. Also picked this up, the Clinique Even Better makeup. I bought this a while back, a few years ago, um, when I had more oily skin. Not great on oily skin, so... Uh, couldn't wear it. I took it off. And I want to say the shade was just a little too orange on me. So I think I picked up a different shade this time. This is C um, and 0 0.5 shell. So let's see what this shade looks like. Ooh, that might be a good shade. So I feel like the shade was off last time I used it. It was just a little too orange and, you know, it was just not great on my super oily skin. So I figured now that I have more normal dry. I'll give it a try. Ooh, that doesn't look orange. Promising. Uh, so I'll have to do a foundation test for you guys on both of these. Let me know what you would like to see first. I'm really excited to use this one. Honestly, please say this one. <laughs> Last but not least, repurchased this. This is the Jergens Natural Glow and I get the Firming Daily Moisturizer. If you are fair and fake Fake tanners just make you look orange. Give this a try. This is one of those gradual self-tanner lotions. Um, the smell isn't super offensive either. I mean, it's not my favorite smell, but it's, the smell reminds me of summer. I use it, I've been using it for like the past two summers. And who am I kidding? I use it sometimes in the winter too when I'm really, really white and wanna look semi not white. Um, but I love this. I put it on for a few days. I'll uh, put it in before I go to bed all over my body. I mean, minus my face. And after a couple days, now you're not going to be tan, but it'll give you a little bit of 
you know, you've been in the sun for a couple of days. It'll give you a little bit of a glow, not enough to make you need a new foundation shade or anything like other tanners do. Uh, it's very natural looking, does not make me look orange, most importantly. Love, love, love this. We'll continue to repurchase and repurchase and repurchase. I've gone through several tubes of this. Please ignore it, my dog. How rude, Maggie. Um, she wants in here, and then the minute I let her out, then she wants to right back in, and she's barking at me to let her back in. Make up your mind, child. Um, but yeah, this is so good, so worth it. Um, can't get enough of it. I have bought it for my, or had my sister buy it as well. She also loves it. Wonderful, wonderful. If you are fair skinned and you need a little bit of color for the summer, always wear this. Uh, I always wear it for a few days before I uh, head out on the lake, just so I'm not a shocking ghost to everyone who's, you know, gorgeous and bronzed. And then there comes me who's not, <laughs> but wonderful, wonderful product. Woo! Almost forget the most important one. Also bought two of these. These are the Aquaphor Lip Protectant Plus Sunscreen. These have um, broad spec, broad spread. I can't say that word. Broad spectrum SPF 30 in them. These are the best when I am at the lake, um, out in the sun all day at the pool. I like to keep one here at home with me and I like to keep one up at the lake. So that's why I bought two. I buy two new ones every summer just because I do go through these. These are super hydrating and protect my lips. My lips will get sunburned if I do not wear something like this on top of them. And this is just the favorite SPF that I have found and it still hydrates my lips. Like my lips get so super dry. Um, and these do a great job of hydrating and protecting them from the sun. If you are in need of a new lip sunscreen, highly, highly recommend. Again, this is something that I reach to for every single summer. Anytime I need to be out in the sun, at the lake, must, must have. This stays in my beach bag for the lake and the pool. Love, love, love these. All right, everyone. So that wraps up my Ulta haul, uh, slash, uh, nude sticks haul, <laughs> uh, for one little blush. Um, but I hope you enjoyed that. I will definitely be doing some videos to come on some of these new products, especially testing out those two foundations for you and then doing some updates on those skincare pieces. Um, as I said, some of those were repurchases and if I repurchase them, I repurchase them for a reason because they are amazing. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you come back to see another one and see some of these updates. Uh, please let me know what you would like to see in future videos with any of these products. I'm very excited to get my hands on and start playing with some of these. Obviously I couldn't wait to play with some of them. I already put them on my face for today, getting ready for this video. So I hope you're having a wonderful day and I will see you in my next one. Bye.